What's up, Exiles? We are near the end of our two-handed AoE adventure, and we're going to test Infernal Blow with Weapon Elemental Damage, Melee Splash, a level 15 Infernal Blow with 11 quality, uh, increased area of effect, Melee Fizz, and Multi-Strike. Now, my prediction is this one is not going to go over so well, mainly because I'm going to have to run around and Multi-Strike a lot more stuff. But we'll see. Uh, the way this works is I need a full clear with less than seven remaining for it to count. Timer starts when I leave the entrance. And put up Blood Rage, put up Arctic Armor, and here we go. I don't know why I opened that. Oh, they're nicely clumped up for me. This might be good. Okay, this is actually going to be really good for uh, Infernal Blow. We're getting really blessed with the, the way these packs are set up. Undead zombies everywhere. You know, this is one of the skills that I feel like it's best to just name lock almost. Since I am lockstepped, name locking isn't so bad. I find myself holding shift just out of habit. It's probably a habit I need to break with uh, Static Strike and Infernal Blow. Now for the boss, I'm going to try to lure him into all this. And time. 335. That's pretty good. However, uh, I do feel like... I did feel like the map definitely favored um, one monster remaining. It had really nice clumps of zombies and good packs. I think it would be a very big or different outcome had it been, you know, slightly more spread out humanoids or uh, avian wretches, and it would have been pretty, pretty horrible. But thank you guys for watching this video. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later.